Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Friday, everybody. This is the 7th of February. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you, Grant, Phil. Good to see you, Rich, Bonnie, everyone. Lita, good morning, everybody. All right, good, good. So um, got a couple interesting things that are going on this morning. We're watching this YTEN. Uh, just had a little bit of a nice little pop right there. Going to go over here and check out on the book viewer. There's a couple of there's a, there's a couple of big sellers out here. You got one right here for seven thousand uh, at thirteen fifty, which looks like you know it's about a buck away. Uh, not really seeing that much out there. Just giving you guys a heads up. Got to follow those orders. A um, hundred thousand shares sell way down here, but uh, not really that much going on out there. It, it is trending up. It is going nicely. And, you know, it looks like it's going to probably test that big seller. I know a lot of you have been jumping into this morning since 8 o'clock. Not a huge winner. It only went from, you know, 11.50 to about 13. Not bad. But it did fill in the gap, so we're going to check that out. But there are a couple of other more stocks that are making some big moves. And uh, we're going to pop over there really quick. But before we do that, let's just go over what happened yesterday. A couple of really, really, really nice stocks that some of you did really well on. It would start with Snapchat. Now, we know Snapchat. Let me just bring this down here to see what happened. So Snapchat had a nice little pop right out of the gate. You know, it got crushed. You know, you can see here in the long-term chart right here. Snapchat took a nice little big hit from 19, from 16 after earnings. Made a nice little pull right here, 16.30 all the way to $17. You know, right there, uh, right in the middle of the, right at, basically right at the open. You know what? A lot of us were pretty much done just on that one stock. Some of you made a nice little buck move, maybe even 50 cents. 1,000 shares, made you 500,000. That one was pretty good. Also, a nice couple of really nice afternoon pops. Start off with the uh, the CODX trade. That one was just awesome. That one just went from 240, 350. Lots less cheaper than Snapchat, but nice, nice move. Nice little uh, run up right there. And then even after hours, I mean, look at the Fausto flags there right here. Boom, Fausto flag. Boom, Fausto flag. Just like consolidation at the consolidation. Nice little move right there. Uh, so that was a nice little pop. And also the BLNK. All right. That one just went a huge run up. You could see it on a long-term chart here on the right where it went from a buck 80 to 320. But yesterday just had that big, big run up. But it came right. It was, it was basically a pump and dump. That's really what it was. And you know what? I want to make a comment regarding about this stock right here. This is something that you guys got to remember very, very importantly. You can never go broke taking a profit. Always, always, always look about taking a profit on the stock. That's what it's all, that's what it's all about. All right, guys. So these are the couple of things that you got to look at. These are things that we got to watch. And uh, listen, that's, that's yesterday. Let's focus on today, right? Brand new day. Whatever happened yesterday, you know, is is in the archives there's a new day going on so let's start going through the watch list now i told you i was looking at the y-t-e-n trade oops typed in the wrong window and uh you could see how it's kind of let me just fix the chart here a little bit more so you can see a little bit better so you can see how you kind of like we're making these little shakes right here you know the the, the seller is still out there oops Hate that word, but you see, you can see the seller right there for six thousand, seven thousand at thirteen fifty. So right now, you know, you got the resistance right around thirteen. No real big sellers out there, but um, on on Nasdaq, but right now that's realistically where the numbers at. It really it, it took a little bit of nasty shake right here, went from thirteen dollars all the way down to fourteen. So that one, like I said, we'll keep a close eye on that one. That one's not bad. ASRT, another one right there. Cheap little stock. Listen, it's gapped up pretty nicely this morning. It's actually one of the biggest percentage gainers of the market. 1.7 million shares traded. Going to go check out the ASRT here and check it out. You got a couple of iceberg orders out here. We got a nice 13,000 share buyer right here at a buck 60. You know, a couple at there at nine. And uh, by the way, the, the reason why I'm bringing up the... Um, the NASDAQ book viewer, guys, just to give you guys a little heads up. I really want to start spending more time showing you that one because we got a lot of people that are watching this on YouTube and Facebook. And, and um, you know, I'm, I did, a, you know, doing a lot of those events on NASDAQ. It's a little bit easier to read 
the Nasdaq book viewer than total view. I mean, than the matrix and uh, level four. And when you're in class, you know, I mean, we're in the room, you know, we're going to specifically focus on the level three version. But as of right now, you know, I want to kind of take a little bit of a step back because some people are just overwhelmed. And I just think it's a lot easier to read when we look at that one. So when I do these morning meetings, I want to give you guys a heads up. I'm going to be spending more time looking at that than, uh, than the other stuff. All right. But don't worry about that. When we're, in, when we're in the trading room, we're going to be focusing specifically on level three and level four. Uh, all right. So let's see what else we got here. We got the LPTH trade right there. That one had a nice little after hours pop right there too. But I don't know. She backed off. Don't be fooled by being up 37% because she really hasn't really gone anywhere. TNAV. Nice afternoon pop. This stock took a huge correction from 11 down to 4. She's up a little bit, up 22%, 67,000 shares. Not a lot of orders out there on Total View, but, you know, listen, the, the only ones that I really found that are making some significant moves. And they're kind of gapped up. Is Pinterest up 17%? You're hearing that over the news. Uh, Pinterest. Uber. But these are all good swing trades. They really were not good day trades right now in pre-market. Uber, you know, gapped up pretty nicely. Almost at $42. Remember, guys, this is the stock that we were trading on a swing trade. Uh, and I said, you know what? We watched this stock get destroyed from 34 down to 28 if you were one of the people out there that bought it at 30 as a swing trade, you're probably doing great. How we would have known that? Well, once again, that's what you that you got to be a good day trader to know how to swing trade. And you know what? Uber and Lyft all are actually working in our favor. So, um, you know, just be it, it to me, it's just they're very hard to day trade. They're very, very hard to day trade. And, you know, when you swing trade, it's a totally different mentality. Uh, MYO is another one that I found this morning, too. So anyway. The reason why I'm bringing up MYO, we killed it on this one. This thing was just unbelievable. $10 to $40. Well, guess what? She's going back down. Now, whatever the reason is why it took off so much, remember what's very important about this stock is if she's on your short list, the trend is your friend. Don't buck the trend. Now, this is Friday, okay? And we all know being here on Fridays, not always the best day to trade. It's really not. A lot of people don't like to come out with news going to the weekend. We had all these big earnings announcements that came out. So honestly, this pre-market hasn't been the greatest uh, so far today. So as much as we have a pretty decent list, we're going to have to wait until the market opens up and find something new. But other than that, we got a couple of them. We'll see how they work out. Not all of them will. Some of them, w w uh, some of them would. will work out. And, uh, you know, we always find something new. So just be very, very cautious. Listen. Remember with the strategy when the market opens up. Wait the first five minutes. You know what happens. If you see something, say something. Now, if you're new to here to Cybertrain University and you start on Monday and now you're here on Friday, I know I'm going to be, you got appointments with some of your instructors. Some of you have appointments with me about moving forward, uh, 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 being part of the Cybertrain University group. And uh, at that time, we'll let you guys know if, um, if trading's for you or not. Remember, a lot of people try to do this. They're so gung-ho. They come in here. And we always tell everybody, it's not for everybody. And uh, I'm glad a lot of people figure that out the easy way than the hard way. And that's like losing thousands of dollars. But some of you obviously do like it. You see people making money. And you know what? We'll see if we're going to make a career out of this. But in the meantime, all the other cyber traders in here, listen, you see something, say something. All right? And if I don't see you in the afternoon, enjoy your weekend because that's what you train for. And we'll see you back on Monday. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.